going to go ahead and get started with our fun hammerhead shark, but we're going to go over a few supplies we're going to need. Kason and Presta, can you help tell them what supplies we're going to need? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're so, we're going to need um, paper, mm -hmm. paint, mm -hmm. and some paint brushes, mm -hmm. and we might use some chalk. Some chalk, yes. Just some white chalk, and then just a lid off of any um, Coke bottle or water bottle or glue stick, anything will work, and a water cup. Okay, you guys ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our background. So the first thing we're going to use is a big brush, and we are going to dip our paintbrush in blue, and then we're going to dip on the side of the white. We're going to make a light color, and we're just going to go in circles here in the center. So nice light color here in the center. And once we're done with that, you're going to wipe your brush off a little bit. And then we're going to grab just blue. And we're going to go around that. So we're just going to go in circles. Around that. The next step is we're going to add just a little bit of black, barely touch the black, and then grab a bunch of blue, and we're just going to make these dark outside circles. Dark colors, dark colors. So just add a little bit of blue and a little bit of black and make these outside corners a dark blue. Okay, so the next part I'm going to show you how to do, we're going to actually use chalk because it wipes off if we make a mistake, but we shouldn't because this is going to be super simple. We're going to use the body of this hammerhead shark by using a bubble letter J. I'll show you that what I mean here. So up here, about three fingers from the top, we're going to start our J. So I'm going to make a line here. And a line here, a line here, and a line here. Like I'm making a, a J. I'm going to come in a little bit. I'm going to make the hook of my J. And I'm going to make another hook of my J. I'm going to make a meat here. So it's like a big bubble J. Then he's going to need some fins, so on each side I'm going to put a hill here, and I'm going to come over, another hill here, and come over, and then for his tail, we're going to do a scoop up, over, we're going to make a V shape, and then we're going to make another scoop. So that would be his tail. And then we're just going to paint this in gray. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it in gray. So all I'm going to do is use a little white and a little black, and I'm going to mix that up. I'm going to use a little bit more white than black and make a nice light gray color. That looks like a good shark color. And then I am going to paint the whole inside of my shark. Do, 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 do. We're painting. Okay, so the next step we're going to use a smaller paintbrush and I'm going to do the eyes. And so I'm going to use white paint. And I'm going to make oval shapes on each side of our hammerhead here. So I'm just going to fill this in with white. 
big white oval shape here and a big white oval shape there. Okay, so after your eyes are done, the next step you're going to do is its mouth. So we're going to make a frowny face with our white paint. And we're going to make it pretty wide. And then we're going to make it connect, make another frowny face. So like we're going to make a big, big frowny frowny face here. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to add its eyes and its teeth. So we're going to use this small paintbrush again. If you have a smaller paintbrush it will work. And we're just going to do zigzags in its mouth. So I'm going to go up. Down. And down. And up. And down. And up. And down. Across his mouth. So it kind of looks mean now. And then we're going to fill in his eyes. So I'm going to just use a bunch of black to put a smaller oval inside. Then we're going to use the black brush again and we're going to make gills. So we're just going to do lines down here under his mouth. And if you want to, you can outline the shark. So you can just go through, use your small brush, and go around the outline of the shark and outline it in black. Okay, so after it's outlined, if you wanted to do that, you can add some bubbles. So what I'm going to do is use the top or the bottom of the lid. Um, that I this is a water bottle lid, but you can use any lid, any round lid. And I'm just going to stamp some bubbles around my shark. Making fun. Okay, then you guys are done.